Imagine stepping outside and seeing a humanoid robot jogging past you, sweat glistening off synthetic skin, muscles flexing like a real athlete. Or maybe you tune into a live stream and watch two humanoid robots square off in a boxing match, punching, ducking, and getting right back up after being knocked down. Sounds like science fiction, right? Not anymore. This past week, humanoid robotics didn't just take a step forward, it leapt into unsettling new territory, blurring the line between machine and human more than ever before. From clone robotics, full body muscular android, to Unitree's upcoming robot boxing match, and even a half marathon featuring humanoids racing against humans, the future of robotics just got very, very real. And honestly, it's both exciting and a little terrifying. Let's dive into everything you need to know. First up, clone robotics. You might remember them for their lifelike robotic torso that freaked out the internet. Now, they've unveiled something even bigger and weirder, protoclone. Clone's first full body musculoskeletal android designed to move and function just like a human. Here's what makes it truly mind blowing. Polymer skeleton mirroring all 206 human bones with a few fused for practicality. Over 1,000 fluid-powered artificial muscles called myofibers that contract and flex like real muscles. Around 200 degrees of freedom, meaning it can bend, twist and move like an actual person. 500 plus sensors including depth cameras, pressure sensors and inertial units that let it sense its environment in real time. They even installed a water-based cooling system, essentially letting the robot sweat to regulate heat during physical exertion. Let that sink in. A robot. That sweats. Now, to be fair, the current prototype can't stand or walk independently yet. It still needs support rigs during demonstrations. Some online skeptics have joked that it looks more like a puppet on strings than a freestanding android. Others are calling it creepy, especially since Protoclone doesn't have a face, just a black visor. But whether you find it fascinating or nightmare fuel, you can't deny it's a massive leap toward human-like robotics. And if Clone Robotics manages to refine their muscle-based actuation system, we might be looking at the foundation for next-generation humanoids, ones that move with natural grace and maybe even someday perform household tasks or sports. Speaking of sports, over in China, Unitree Robotics is gearing up for something straight out of a sci-fi action movie, a robot boxing match. They're calling it Unitree Iron Fist King Awakening. In the teaser footage, we see Unitree's G, one humanoid robot, standing about 1.32 meters tall, sparring with a human and then facing off against another robot. It's not exactly Rocky Balboa just yet. The movements are a little slow and the robots sometimes struggle to dodge or balance. But here's the kicker. When knocked down, the G1 gets back up on its own. Unitree is training the robots with motion capture data sets, teaching them lifelike punches, dodges, and even kung fu moves. They're polishing full body movement control to make the fights more realistic. They plan to live stream the full match in about a month. Will it be a serious competition or more of a comedy show? Honestly, probably both. But either way, it's another step toward humanoids capable of real world dynamic movement. Something that's critical for future robots operating in unpredictable environments. And if you think boxing robots are wild, wait until you hear about the half marathon. On April 13th, Beijing's E-Town District will host the 2025 Beijing E-Town Half Marathon. It's not just for humans. Humanoid robots will be running too. That's 21.0975 kilometers, a serious challenge even for experienced athletes. Over 30,000 human runners have already signed up. And joining them? Humanoid robots built by top robotics companies, research institutes, and universities. Of course, the race will have separate rules for robots. Physical barriers will separate humans and robots to avoid collisions. Adjusted time limits and standards for robot participants because most robots still can't sprint like Eliud Kipchoge. Some robot prototypes can reportedly hit speeds of up to 12 kilometers per hour. Pretty impressive for bipedal machines. But this isn't just about showboating. 
Organizers say it's a stress test, pushing robots to their limits in real world outdoor conditions. Think about what that means. Testing battery endurance over long distances, improving shock absorption for repeated pavement impacts, enhancing AI navigation for dealing with uneven surfaces and unexpected obstacles. If robots can finish a half marathon without breaking down, that would be a huge milestone for real world humanoid deployment. One tech director put it perfectly. It's not about beating human athletes. It's about proving robots can survive and thrive in our messy, unpredictable world. So let's take a step back. In just one week, we saw Clone Robotics unveil a full body android that flexes synthetic muscles and sweats. Unitree promote robot boxing matches. Beijing preparing for a marathon where humanoids race alongside humans. This isn't just engineering hype, it's the beginning of a major shift. Robots are slowly moving out of controlled lab environments and into human spaces, offices, homes, streets, and maybe even sporting arenas. But it raises a big question. Are we building helpful, hardworking machines? Or are we starting to play God, creating replicas of ourselves that will one day blur the line between tool and companion, or even rival? When you see a robot jogging by you, flexing muscles and sweating like a living being, will you smile? Or will you instinctively reach for the power switch? Because whether we're ready or not, the age of human-like robots is coming, fast. Would you be excited to share the world with humanoid robots that can sweat, box, and run marathons? Or does this whole thing feel like we're heading toward a real life version of Westworld? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned, because at this rate, the future we've been imagining for decades is about to walk right into our living rooms. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.